Did the mid 19th century increase in, in immigration lead to the Civil War? Also, we tend to think about the Civil War as emerging from issues of slavery and states' rights. It was greatly affected by America's immigration patterns. Firstly, immigration played a major role in the outbreaking the outcome of the Civil War. Two, German immigrants went to the industrializing North, which transformed the balance of power, and Irish immigrants also changed the balance of power. First off, immigrants moving to the industrializing North led to a change in the balance of power and the outbreak and outcome of the Civil War, more specifically. Jackson's free land policy led to an influx of new Americans. They became citizens the same way that squatters become unevictable. Many know that Irish came because of the potato famine, but don't know how that effect actually affected them into wanting to go to America. Well, originally they didn't even want to. The potato famine left serfs without food, so their fe eating was left to the lords. Importing food was extremely expensive, but moving them to America, although still expensive, was less expensive. So they shipped serfs to America for no cost on the serfs part, <coughs> and then they lost less money. Germans came because of the 1848 college revolution. The massive immigration spike in the 40, 1840s and 50s. There was a massive immigration spike in the 1840s and 50s. They mostly moved to North because there were more jobs. Free people soon greatly outnumbered slaves. Quote, one in every four in members of the unit in armed forces was an immigrant, unquote, according to Patrick Young. The, the Union also had a great number of other soldiers, so this greatly impacted the outcome. Because the South was devoted to cotton, they couldn't make jobs to get immigrants to move there. which led to a great number of Union soldiers. Secondly, uh, the Germans, in the German and Irish in specific, had a great impact. At this point, we'll be focusing on the Germans' impact. The failed 1848 German college revolution led to German immigrants. They, people mostly go to sit situations where they're used to. This was mostly into the industrializing north in the Midwest and such places where there were growing factories. <coughs> but when they went to the south, they didn't like it either. They know the slaves were poorly treated and sympathized with them. According to the German immigrant Charles Schultz, quote, I've seen it often enough how the poor slaves are sold away from their wives and children and beaten with a whip, unquote. But they did know how to fight. Frederick Ludwig Jan was in the inventor of gymnastics as a way to train young men for war. The names of many training equipment and moves come from wartime preparation. The <coughs> <coughs> soldiers were called turners because of the spinny flippy doodads that they did. In short, Germans were very prepared for war and were also abolitionists. Lincoln used this to his advantage before and during the Civil War, which greatly impacted it. But Germans were not the only immigrants. Thirdly, Irish played a strong role in the Civil War too. They also mostly went north, 
but they were not abolitionists. According to Frederick,